I used to teach at an organization called Singularity University. And at, at SU, what we did is we would map um, uh, emerging technologies, about 10 of them. So artificial intelligence, uh, synthetic biology, nanotechnology, um, uh, collaborative, it, it sort of whole ranges of them. And then show what would be those big changes that will happen. And the companies that came through would do two things. They would understand this so that they could A, place bets on the kinds of new products and services that they would be able to produce in you know, two quarters, four quarters, eight quarters, and then secondly, protect themselves against the industry disruptions and then either protect their employees or sadly, let those employees go because they'll profit. So it's possible um, through a process called robo-economics, this is a term, robo-economics, to figure out what are the, um, the dropping uh, cost of workflow with um, robots and then the existing workflow of humans and when they intersect a little bit later then it's not good for those workers. So some of those workers can make a shift and uh, learn new capabilities, new, new, new skills. Others sadly um, are going to be disrupted and there's not a lot of wicker makers these days. There's not that many farmers these days and that's the reality of, of this um, these emerging trends. That's why we have this.